Established in 1995, Magic Memories produced visitor photos at the popular Queenstown gondola for its many visitors. The speed and quality at which the photos could be produced was instantly popular with consumers and saw the company expand throughout Australasia. And as it grew, we kind of got dragged through New Zealand, we got dragged into Australia, and then in 2009, we actually got serious and that's when we went to the UK and it was at that stage in 2009 really when we got a proper board of directors, uh, we got a proper strategic plan, we got the right funding. Getting serious unlocked the true worth for the company and with it new challenges for its co-founder and then CEO. I went to the market as CEO at the time and, and it was at, at that time where we realised the business was going to be sort of two and a half times the size in a 12 month period. 65% of our business now is our revenues are generated from the US market. The business was getting to a scale where we needed to have much more focus on having your hand on the tiller around uh, ratios, overheads, indirect costs, that sort of thing. So you're actually creating a really large profitable engine to continue scaling from. So we needed a new CEO because that's not something that I'm particularly passionate or wonderful at. The change in leadership came in the form of Chris Warhurst, who has helped usher in the next phase for the company. Focusing on partnering with theme parks and attractions that include not only multiple locations in the US, but also Europe and the Middle East, the company has also provided alternatives to selling their product directly to consumers. Instead, partnering with operators to include it as part of the admission and distributing over digital platforms as well as print. Despite being spread globally, Queenstown still serves as the company's centre for innovation for their hardware as well as their digital and graphic design capability. Beautiful brands and enormous worldwide brands that Magic has been engaged with the creating these experiences and this product and different models, you know, the, the way that Magic has changed the direction of, of, of flow of, of revenues to come into Magic as a fulfilment as, a, um, as opposed to, to selling. So there's, that's just been, that's a global um, uh, achievement. <laughs>